is the best way to make money from home. People are bored right now. Take your stuff virtually. So looking at the numbers, we're doing about... Peng Jun. Peng Jun. Peng Jun is here. I want you to set your expectations high because I will massively exceed them. Day 15 of being self-quarantined and today you're gonna see behind the scenes to how I manage a virtual event. We have close to about a thousand people registered and you're gonna see how the setup works. This webinar where we are going to attempt to give the registrants an amazing experience, make a compelling offer and you're gonna be able to see numbers. What is probably the best way to engage, to deliver value, as well as to make money from home while being quarantined. Right now, more than ever, attention online is absolutely cray. Uh, for the first time ever, ad costs has actually decreased significantly. Um, and even though this webinar that you're about to see behind the scenes to how I or, or strategize the entire thing, um, we are not spending any money. There's zero ad spend on this. This is literally through just uh, three emails posted out two and a half days ago, one Facebook Live and one Instagram swipe up. So uh, these are the three main channels we utilize to get about, I think it was about 900 so far registered. The setup is going to be over here this time, but I realized that I do not want to sit down. So I'm probably going to deliver the entire thing standing up. Okay, because I want to have higher energy. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. Uh, sorry, Gary, I'm gonna use you as a stand. So I want it to be higher up because I'm gonna be standing up. Literally, a couple of books, got a great mic, clicker, slide deck. Professional setup. So one of the best ways to make money right now is by delivering virtual events. This could be webinars, online trainings, workshops that's done online. And the reason for that is because, well, live events are probably gonna be shut down for at least a good couple of months. And right now, because people are stuck at home, everyone's quarantined, attention is higher than ever. So today, this webinar that I will be doing is literally showing people how to make that happen. So basically, this is the webinar page. These are the five pillars I'm gonna be teaching them how do you get people to register for your virtual event and maximize the registration rate? I'm gonna be showing them how do you get them to show up after they register? How do you maximize the stick rate so people actually stick around through your entire virtual event? How do you make a compelling offer, which is your close rate? And how do you make the most out of your virtual event, which is the follow-up rate? So this is um, the sign-up page. I'm gonna get people to register. If you were to implement these strategies and if you were to do these virtual events, you would absolutely crush it right now because attention's at all-time high. And even if you have no following, even if you're totally new, right now, ads are, I would say, is priced at 2017 pricing. And if you understand these different numbers, which I will show you on this video, you'll be able to see how and why it's probably one of the most profitable methods to scale online right now. I'm actually late. Um, it's 11 o'clock um, and this is my current setup. I wanted to do a webinar uh, standing up so that I have my energy levels high. It's going to be two and a half hours ish. So I'm going to leave you guys over here so that you guys can see behind the scenes to what's happening. Um, I'm going to be standing here and presenting. Notice how it's not a professional. Well, yeah, it's not a professional setup. Doing in my shorts, last minute checks. Did someone take my... Welcome everybody, I'm just getting set up. Good to see you guys coming in. Wow, insane. First of all, welcome. Let me know where you guys are connecting from. Singapore, Ronald from Philippines, Rashmi from San Jose, Thomas from Michigan, Jorge from Peru, Kina from India, Malaysia, Canada, Egypt. Five in the morning from Germany, Hong Kong, from Romania, from South Africa, from San Francisco, Florida. First of all guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. We had about um, a thousand people uh, register for this event. I will do everything in my power to make it well worth your time. Okay, so the purpose of me doing this is that 
I know with the whole virus and crisis that's happening, there's a ton of uncertainty, there's a ton of panic, there's a lot of things that people have no idea what to do, what's going on, how to pivot. And the truth is, everyone is affected, including me. But one thing that has really affected me, two weekends ago, I was in Poland, and if you watched my YouTube video, it is insane. It's like everywhere I'm going, empty. Coronavirus cases, up to 13,000 currently. The worst thing that's happening in the world right now. We might not be able to leave the country. Just get out. In one weekend, I lost over $127,000 from that cancelled event while still incurring all of the cost the hotel, everything. So I was already in Poland, ready to do that event with my team. It was like a Hollywood movie. I had to fly back before the country gets locked down. It was in a state of panic. I'm here to say that I understand how you might feel right now. How do you adjust and how do you make the most out of this thing that's happening without being opportunistic? All right, so party's over. This was the much longer webinar um, than I thought it was three hours. Um, standing for three hours is is interesting, especially presenting in... in. So looking at the numbers, uh, I think we did pretty decent. So yesterday we did about 18K, this in Sing dollars, so it's like about 15. Uh, today's, well, the day hasn't ended yet and sales are still coming in, but we're doing about 25k so far. Now, we had, we had two options. Uh, I tried a new monthly recurring, 247, as well as yearly, 2497. But ultimately, it was about giving people what they want now, which is helping them to uh, pivot online. So the question like, like you would ask yourself is, can you do some sort of virtual training where you enable your audience in that specific niche to meet up virtually online? Because if you think about different businesses right now, um, if, if you sell gym equipment, people aren't buying you know gym equipments or they're not going to a gym right now. To pivot, it would be selling a workout from home program where you could potentially do workouts together or lead with that and then sell the workout gear that you could utilize from home. That could be one. If you have like a painting school where kids or adults come in and learn how to paint, I literally saw that offer and I thought it was brilliant. But guess what? People are bored right now. If you can take your stuff virtually, that's what I did. I held a webinar teaching people how to take stuff virtually and if you can do that right now, these are the people that, like during a time like this, the people that win is not the strongest, it's not the smartest, but the people that can adjust the best. All right, so let's end with this. Okay, let's end with, so how can you make it happen? If you were to try to model what I did today, by doing a virtual event to serve your audience when everyone is stuck at home so that you can actually help them, entertain them because they're bored, give them great value and have them invest in whatever it is that you have to offer. How do you actually do it if you want to model what I did today? So number one is you want to drive traffic to your virtual event. Okay, so for me personally, it was utilizing uh, three emails, Facebook and Instagram. Zero dollars spent. Um, and that's of course, you might be thinking, well, Ping Jun, it's because you have a list and you have a following. Sure, I mean, it took a while to, to, to build that up. But for you right now, if you're totally new, you could be paying for traffic. So for example, let's say you have this page that shows them this uh, specific promise or outcome or result that they want to generate. So it could be, if you're in fitness, let's say it could be how to get fit during this time of quarantine and have amazing workout in 21 days while the rest is binge watching Netflix. Join us for this upcoming masterclass on these three things, five steps or seven moves that you must know if you wanna be able to utilize this next three weeks um, to be in the best shape of your life, okay? So, so whatever it co it's called, okay? So this is just a random, you know, fitness thing, okay? So think about like, how can you give them great value by giving them this amazing training, okay? 
So once they register for this, okay, so this is when they will enter their name and email. And this is the same sequence that I'm utilizing right now. Okay, so you're probably thinking, but Ping Jun, so how do I get people to come register for this? Okay, so if you watch my other videos on Facebook ads, you are now going to run ads to people with an interest that would be interested in a topic like this. Right now, cost per registrant has decreased about 25% in the last 10 days, which is amazing. Again, it's like 2017 prices right now. Cost per webinar registrant, it shouldn't cost you more than $10 right now to get somebody to register for this event. Let's say, now basic math here, let's say for every person that land on this page, about 50% of people would register. So let's say your registration conversion, and that's the keyword over here, I just realized that everything's inverted. Okay, uh, let's see. 50% of people register. So that means, or rather, out of the $10 for people to register, 50% of people will show up. So that means, if it costs you $10 to get a name and email, and 50% of people show up, that means that it would be $20 cost per attendee. Because 50% of people show up, right? So it costs you $10 to get a name and email. 50% of people show up. So that means a cost of a person being at the event would be $20. So if let's say you wanted 100 people to show up, that could cost you two grand if you have no list advertising to a cold audience. However, if you sold a $997 offer, all you need is to get a 2% conversion, which is considered bad, by the way, in order to break even, right? Because you would have two people that showed up that would have invested in your $997 offer. A good benchmark to go for is about 10% on a $2,000 offer. So if you can go and strive for this main benchmark, which is 10% on a $2,000 offer on 1997, if you had 100 people show up, you would have 10 sales generating you $20,000, okay? You would have spent $2,000 to get a room of 100 virtual attendees. You would have got 10x your returns from these numbers. Okay, so to recap, it would be you set up this landing page, which um, in the description box, I'll show you how. Okay, you can get the same uh, funnel that I'm going to share with you, which is the webinar funnel. Okay, you send traffic to this page, get people registered, and the flow would be if you can pay $10 per registrant, which is very standard, and if 50% of show, people show up, you're paying $20 per show up. If you go on 100 people, that means it will cost you $2,000. And if you are selling a $2,000 product and you can get 10% close rate, uh, which is very realistic um, and possible if you are experienced and if you have practice. But if not, you just need 2% close rate and a $997 offer uh, to break even. So literally, this is something that you can actually practice. And uh, I don't know if, I haven't really decided yet if I want to give the replay of what I did today. Some of you are probably thinking, so Ping Jun, can I see what your pitch looked like, what your presentation looked like? Um, it may or may not be there, um, depending on when this video is released. But if it's there, it's going to be in the description box below so that you can see the same uh, webinar that I presented today. But if not, at the very least, you're going to get the webinar funnel um, so that it's all you need to do is change the word, change the graphics, and you're good to go. But this is a great way right now to be working from home and to be presenting and to be producing content when the rest of the world is consuming. First of all, like this video, it does help out with the algorithm a little bit. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comments what type of future videos you would like to see as well as your biggest takeaway. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.